Hi everyone, I'm Apostle Michelle Peterson and guess what? We made it. We are at the last requirement of the covenant of blessing. For those who want to enter into this covenant with the Lord, uh, there are 13 requirements of us uh, to enter into this covenant. And so we are on the 13th one today. And if you haven't checked out the other 12, uh, I will link the video here. Okay, so the 13th requirement today and this is very serious, you guys. This requirement that the Lord said for us is do not murmur and complain. Did you guys know murmuring and complaining is a sin? Hmm. Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 10.10 10, Neither murmur ye as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. Now, I'll tell you this, being in deliverance, when you have someone that murmurs and complains about everything, what's happening with them, they are being tormented by demonic spirits because they're murmuring and complaining against God. This is a sin. God is God has, you know, He's done so much for us in this earth, blessed us so much, and we're murmuring and complaining. If you think about the children of Israel, you know, we can look at their situation and say, why were they complaining? You know, they should have ate the manna. They should have just been happy with that because the promised land was just right there. They were so close to it, but they were complaining and, and missed their old life and all of this and complaining against Moses and God. We look at their situation and we just judge them. But in our situation, our lifestyle, we're complaining, we're murmuring against things that we're in. We don't have enough. We're stressed out. People are attacking us. You know, they're doing evil things to us. And we're murmuring, complaining to God. It's the same exact thing as the children of Israel. You know, God, I mean, you know, God is taking care of us. He's doing so much, you know, good uh, for us. And for us to come to him and murmur and complain about a situation, no matter no matter how big it is, you know, that's a sin. That's totally wrong. And so what I was thinking about earlier is that with your child, um, let's say if, you know, you have a child that's always complaining about everything, you know, and you're doing everything you can possibly do to try to take care of your child and protect them and make sure nothing bad happens to them. But they're just constantly complaining. Nothing's ever right. It's always something wrong. Whatever you're doing, you know, trying to do something good, you know, it's always something wrong. It's never enough. It's never good enough. Now, that's something. I mean, you would start seeing that child as just being ungrateful. They're really, really selfish because you're trying to do everything you can possibly do. You're trying to protect them. You're trying to provide for them. You know, keep a house, you know, have they have a roof over their head. You're trying to feed them, make sure they have warm clothes. You're trying to do all of this stuff for them. But they don't see what you're doing. Like with God, we don't see what he's doing behind closed doors in the spiritual realm, moving things, opening up doors, you know, doing all of this stuff in the spiritual realm. Like with the children of Israel, the promised land was right there. They couldn't see it yet. They didn't trust God. They couldn't see it, but it was there. The same thing. God is doing stuff. He's doing things, you know, and some things may not be right now. Some things he may be preparing for the future. The palace could be, you know, uh, many years off, but he's preparing that for you, like with Joseph. So in that situation, you can't murmur and complain during that time because he's, you got to know that he's doing things for you. He's taking care of you. You have to know that. So murmuring, complaining is a sin against God. And so the Lord says here in 13, do not murmur and complain. Okay. And I know it's hard um, for me to say this, but I'm telling you, I go through like I um, talk about in other videos, the type of stuff that I go through. If other people had to go through this type of stuff that I get, the attacks that I get constantly, they would totally faint, totally be ready to leave this earth and die. I'm telling you, it's that intense. But... <laughs> But we really have to try to believe that God is taking care of us no matter what is going on. We have to truly believe that and trust that. And God has proven that to me so many times. I've seen him physically protect me, you know, you know, when it was a time where, you know, I could have been destroyed. Him giving me warnings constantly that there were traps for me. You know, even when I first became a Christian, he told me that, you know, that, I couldn't backslide. I couldn't backslide because if I backslide, if I went back to my old life, the enemy had a trap for me and the enemy was going to kill me. The enemy was going to kill me. You know, the enemy's been trying to kill me from a lot. 
But the Lord has proven over and over again that He is protecting me. He is taking care of me because I have a purpose. I have a destiny. You have a purpose. You have a destiny. Trust the Lord is going to take care of you regardless on what it looks like right now. You know, He's going to take care of you. Trust Him. You know, count everything all joy. Rejoice in the situation that you're in right now. I know it may be hard. Put on some worship music. Try to take your focus off. Ask God to help you take that focus off, whatever's going on. Rejoice. Know that on that other side, the promised land is there. It's there. Regardless on if you can see it, if you're in the desert, you may can't, you may can't see it. But do not murmur and complain because the, the, the destroyer will come and destroy you. Because it is a sin, it's a legal right for the enemy to kill, steal, and destroy. So don't murmur and complain and trust the Lord. He will bless you. This is a covenant that he's entering into with you and he's giving you promises. You can trust him, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, I may do a little bit more teachings from this covenant, but there is a second covenant and the second covenant is the pros the man I mean the covenant of prosperity. This covenant is it only has three requirements for us, but this covenant is a total sacrifice of your whole entire life. Everything is totally sacrificed for God. And people in the Bible actually walked in this with the Lord. But you can check that out in my book. It's called The Mantle of Prosperity. I'll put a link down at the bottom. It's on Amazon and you can order it. Or if you have a Kindle, you can uh, watch it. I mean, read it on the Kindle. Okay. So if you guys have any questions, please comment in below uh, the below uh, comment section. Uh, share this video and like it. Um, and also, you can contact me for prayer, more information. And also, let me know some of the videos that you may want to see. I'm going to be doing videos weekly here. And I would love to hear your advice on things that you want to see. Things that you're struggling with. Things that you're suffering um, with. And um, I could do videos on that to help you, to give you tips, to encourage you to see what the Lord has to say about it and share with you what he says. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoy your day. God bless.